At 419 this morning, the Emergency Communication Center received a call from a family member of a woman who said that she was suicidal and was in a vehicle at the boat ramp here in Peeler Park. Officers Eric Mumau and Nick Diamond responded, found indeed the woman in the car at water's edge at the boat ramp. The officers were here within five minutes of the communication center receiving the call. Uh, the officers attempted to engage in a dialogue with the woman. Uh, Officer Diamond was on the passenger side. Officer Mumau was on the driver's side. Uh, at one point, they thought that she was going to actually come out of the car and go with the officers. Uh, the door, the driver's door, actually opened. Uh, as the driver's door opened, the car went out of park and into the water. As it did so, officers Diamond on the passenger side, Mumau on the driver's side, went into the water uh, trying to save this woman. The boat ramp ended very abruptly, which they could not see because the end of the ramp is underwater. And both of the officers uh, lost their balance and went in. Uh, the motion of the vehicle also going into the water kind of swept them further out uh, Officer Diamond was able to come back to the bank. Uh, Officer Mumau was not. Officer Trent Craig was also at the scene, but at the top of the ramp, when he saw what was taking place, Officer Craig actually ran through the woods, saw Officer Mumau, saw the top of his head. Officer Craig jumped into the river in an effort to save Officer Mumau, uh, but the water was just so cold. When Officer Craig jumped in, he was in water up to his neck, and he could not get out into that section of the river where Officer Mumau was. Uh, just after 8 o'clock this morning, Officer Mumau was recovered by a fire department diver probably 70 yards or so from the boat ramp. The woman that the officers came here to save, Julie Glisson, stayed in the vehicle as it submerged into the river. Once a fire department boat got onto the scene and was checking the river bank for any survivors, particularly uh, Officer Mumau, they spotted Ms. Glisson on the bank. She had apparently gotten out of the vehicle, was able to swim to the bank, and uh, she has been taken to Skyline Medical Center. The initial report from officers at Skyline is that she shows signs of impairment she is being detained and is very much under criminal investigation now by this police department. Uh, we have received lots of phone calls and messages from persons around the country this morning uh, expressing their uh, sorrow about Officer Mumau. We're greatly appreciative for the support from Nashville and beyond. Can you talk about what charges she could face? Uh, she is under investigation at this point. Uh, we will have officers uh, dealing with her this morning and it would be premature for me to uh, say specifically what uh, will happen to her later today. Does she have a criminal Officer history? Diamond. Say again? Does she have a criminal history? Uh, yes, she does. How is Officer Diamond doing this morning? Uh, he was taken to the hospital. Understand he was submerged uh, in the river. He actually uh, had a grasp at one point of Officer Mumau, but could not maintain the grasp. Uh, he was taken to the hospital because of uh, being in the river for an extended period of time. Uh, Officer Craig, Trent Craig, actually uh, was able to stay here at the scene. He was uh, warmed in the back of an ambulance. Do we know when that officer made contact with Eric? Eric uh, was he conscious at the time or was he able to say anything or communicate with the officer that was trying to do this? Well, yeah, Officer uh, Mumau was uh, struggling. He was in despair in the river, and Officer Diamond was trying to grab him and actually had slight contact with him at one point but could not maintain the grip. And uh, you understand how cold the water was and the shock to the body. And uh, Officer Diamond was unable to continue his rescue efforts for fear of losing his own life. You're saying it takes a special kind of person to do something like this. Can you just talk about 
what you what you mean by that? These officers were here this morning to save a life. And Officer Moomau died truly trying to save the life of someone else. We have the crime scene tape up now. What's the next step? I mean, what's the process? Talk us through the rest of this day. Well, as I said, Ms. Glisson is under criminal investigation now by this police department. Uh, an officer has given his life, has died here at this scene. And the police department's uh, crime scene investigators will be uh, doing their work, photographs, all everything they need to do uh, to document exactly what took place. And again, as far as uh, Ms. Glisson, we will uh, determine that later in the day. Have you found her car yet? Uh, her car is in the water. I don't know if the divers actually made contact with it or not. We but get the spelling. But it, it is submerged. We get the spelling for her name, please. Uh, J U L I. G L I S S O N, age 40. Do we have the spelling of the other officer? I'm not sure if we. Diamond. Diamond. Yeah, oh, we have, okay. Eric Diamond? Mm -hmm. Just make sure. Or, I'm right. sorry, Nick Diamond. Nick Diamond. Nick Diamond. And, uh, and uh, Trent, T R E N T, Craig, C R A I G. And those are all Madison <clears throat> precinct officers, correct? Uh, yes, uh, officer, officer Craig is actually a flex officer. Okay. Thank you. Do you Thank expect you any more time. updates throughout the morning? Not here, no. That was Metro Police Department spokesman Don Aaron giving so. us a wrap up of this tragic morning here in Madison where a police officer lost his life in the line of duty trying to save a woman. A very sad story. Again, we have the driver of the vehicle that went into the water being held and detained at the hospital. She is in stable condition and suffered non-life-threatening injuries, but she is being criminally investigated by Metro Police. I'm unsure at this point what charges could possibly be filed. I don't want to speculate. Again, a very sad day here for the Metro Nashville Police Department family. This is Natalie Island with the Tennessean signing off.